about this. Dennis Hoff and copyright infringement. Let's talk about that. Now, it was just the other day that I saw a really interesting news clip featuring an attorney who was addressing the city of Las Vegas. And he was stating that anyone who is selling or promoting anything having to do with that um, sports team, the football team, the American football team, the Raiders, well, some of you might know, some of you might not know, but Las Vegas recently has been privy and um, lucky enough to be the new venue for the NFL team, the Raiders, okay? That's a very exciting thing for many people out there. But what a lot of people don't quite understand, and not just in regards to the NFL and their teams, but just many things in general, if you're going to use someone's logo or their um, trademark in your advertising, you do have to get permission from that entity. For example, let's say you have a little shop that in your selling stuff um, on Fremont Street, right? If you're going to sell NFL related merchandise, that merchandise had better as hell be certified by the NFL. You have to have permission to market their trademark. A lot so, of people are looking to make money off the Raiders move to Las Vegas. Now there's a huge untapped market of fans clamoring for Las Vegas Raiders merchandise. But 13 Action News reporter David Schumann tells us how meeting that demand could put some vendors in serious legal peril. At Sideline Sports, it's the first thing many customers ask. And everything with Vegas on it, people are looking for it. They want it for sure. The Golden Knights rush has slowed here, and now it's all about the football. Problem is, most stores aren't carrying anything that says Las Vegas Raiders. You sell merchandise with Raiders on it, you better have the permission of the NFL. And there's your reason why you won't find anything. The league hasn't licensed any gear yet that includes the phrase Las Vegas Raiders. Nevertheless, we found an MGM property on the strip selling these hats. A trademark expert confirmed, without a license, that's an obvious case of infringement. Just because there may not yet be a Las Vegas Raiders doesn't mean that that's just open territory for somebody to start using that, selling merchandise under that name. Does Dennis Hoff have permission from the NFL to promote an NFL Raiders themed brothel? I don't know. No one knows. This brothel was open back in the 70s, but it's been abandoned for about a decade. But now a new company is coming in and revamping it and giving it a brand new facelift, but with a Raiders twist. Broken glass, tumbleweeds, and a boarded up front door. Dennis is really kind of trying to fast track this. But not for long. We've got to have managers on duty, cooks, uh, maids, uh, cleaning personnel. We have drivers, maintenance people. We will hire local people to come fill all of those positions. A new business is capitalizing on the Raiders' move to Las Vegas. By the time that everything is done here, it's really going to be a bit of a theme park. And the type of person coming here? Never have to leave the property will likely be looking for action on and off the field. Have all the legal sex you like. We're now inside the main entryway and parlor area of the Las, soon to be Las Vegas uh, Raiders themed Pirates Booty Brothel. Yeah, you heard him right, a Raiders themed brothel. A client would come over here, be seated, and then uh, we would ring the bell, let the girls know that a client's in the house, the girls come out, somehow, miraculously, end up in her room. Yeah. Keeping in line with the Raiders theme. I love it. I love my job. I like what we do. They're offering discounted services for players. They're definitely more um, high profile, so we have to respect their, you know, their privacy. We're going to call the uh, group of girls that we have either the tight ends or the wide receivers. If this interests you, you're looking at about five grand to stay the night. You might not have even known that uh, sex is being had here. The people working here say they help clients score in more ways than one. If you are able to do, to do this job, you're doing such a great community service to, I mean, in so many different ways. The other thing about the 
the uh, the Raiders themed Pirates Booty Brothel that we feel like we're doing is providing a public service. So for all of you football fans that are looking to combine two different kinds of tight ends, this place is scheduled to be open by the end of the year. In Nye County, Cindy Lundeberg, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. I guess we could also ask, does he have permission to um, promote a Lord of the Rings style room in a brothel or maybe a Star Trek room in a brothel? These are things that I am definitely going to investigate as an independent investigative blogger over the next few months. But really, I was just wondering, and I thought to myself, why would it be that mainstream media is promoting Dennis Hoff and his proposed NFL Raiders-themed brothel if he does not have permission from the NFL to do so? Now, again, I don't know if he does. I have taken the time to look up who owns that team, that Raiders team, and I am going to try to get in contact with him because I want to know if he gave Dennis Hoff permission specifically to open a brothel to where the Raiders are his theme in that brothel. Because if he did, then that right there is the news story because the news story would be wow the nfl a franchise that markets itself to mainstream middle america families is now also marketing sex workers and legal brothels to american families and children specifically because who loves football more than anything else? Aside from a lot of, you know, beer drinking guys, a shitload of kids. So is that the new thing right now? Are they going to start um, promoting sex workers to underage children via the NFL? I'm wondering as I am speaking, I'm going to look up exactly who owns that team Raiders of California. I think his name's Mark. I could be wrong. Mark Davis. Mark Davis. He owns it. So, you know, Alexandra Mayer's Live is going to reach out to Mark Davis. And I, I do want to find out if he's okay with Dennis Hoff creating a Raiders-themed brothel. Because I don't think he would be, at least not publicly.